all right guys we're back with another one and this is the battery life review of the LG V20 LG V20 100% totally charged up looking really good I'm gonna take this phone and we're gonna do the battery life test I'm gonna use it through my regular day gotta go to work and I'm gonna take it through the day and see how long can this phone really last with its so battery? This phone is rocking about a 3000 milliamp hour battery. It has Android Doze feature. So it's going to have some power saving uh, stuff in it because it has the newest version of Android. I'm not going to keep the brightness too low. Right now, I got the brightness at 100% just for the video. But I'll probably keep it a little bit above um, 40 about 40 to 30 to 40 percent maybe if I could survive there when I'm watching video I already see I got to turn up the um, brightness a little bit but the battery is pretty good I took this off the charger at about 958 and you can see it's 1015 and the battery life is still at hundred percent so pretty much I'm gonna take this through my day moderate to heavy use I'm gonna use it at work I'm gonna be listening to a uh, different type of headphones like right now I'm testing these headphones I have my wireless Bluetooth as well I'm gonna have it connected to the Moto 360 I'm gonna have it in and out of Wi-Fi and I'm gonna be using the cellular connectivity so I'm gonna be using the phone all facets and we're gonna see how long this phone lasts Taking a minute to check out the uh, battery life. We're at 82%. It's 126 a.m. and we started at 10 p.m. So a couple of hours now in, and battery life seems to be pretty good. Um, I can't say I've been using it heavy. I've been using it pretty light. Um, watching a couple of YouTube videos. 82%. Pretty much. Let's call this 1:30 a.m. Battery life is going pretty good on the V20. Goldberg is back. Bobby Roode is in WWE now. So much stuff. But enjoying some tunes in my car, chilling. It's 4:29 a.m. And battery life. Forty-eight percent battery life is at, and we're still running. So I was just listening to some YouTube video, some YouTube music, and also some SoundCloud going past, going through my day. And now I'm in the car, just catching up on some WWE. Pretty well, forty-eight percent. And we're actually about six hours or so in. Six and a half hours, I would say. So this is going pretty well. All right, so continuing this battery life review. All right, so if you guys can see, I got the um, brightness at about 50%. Let me turn it up just for the video. And let's take a look. So it's 8.07 a.m. and we're at 14%, well 13% now, listening right. to So YouTube Music, SoundCloud, Stitcher, YouTube, Hangouts, the whole dime. So we've been, we've been doing a lot, especially WWE. I've been catching up on WWE. So I've been using the phone, 12% um, now, 8.08 a.m. and let's check out the All battery. Right. So 12% now. I guess because I have the brightness on so bright. So usage on battery, it says 10 hours. Yeah, yeah, we're about 10 hours. I want to see this. Okay, there you go. Screen. Screen, screen on times four hours and 50 minutes. And 12% left. So maybe we could crank out another hour or so. But that's the screen on time. Not bad. It's a definite improvement over the V10. But it's definitely 
my opinion, I don't think it's a battery horse. So you guys can see what I've been using the most. Phone idle, 11%. There you go. Back in the base. And we have a long, we had a long night. And here we go. I had to turn down the brightness because, hey, the phone was about to die before I got here. So we at 3%, 9.34 a.m., listening to uh, Google Play Music, Jodeci, Tyrese, battery usage. All right. 11 hours, 34 minutes. That's about correct. So we're not going to reach the 12-hour mark. And this is pretty much the couple of days that I've had the phone. This is what I've been getting. Screen on time, five hours. Five hours of screen on time. That's not bad. It's really not bad at all. So it's not heavy usage. I would say this is moderate to heavy usage that I've used it. Or some of you might argue that it's moderate. moderate user. If you're a real heavy user, this phone might be an issue for you. So moderate to heavy, I would say it's a pass. Even light usage, I would say it's a pass. But if you're a real heavy duty user, but you really like the phone, I still recommend it. But you may want to get a battery case or utilize the removable back and get a extra Any back. phone that can get me back to wired earphones, it's the V20 with that quad DAC, man. It makes headphones sound amazing. And the phone just died. That's it. So pretty much with that, this is the battery life review of the LG V20. I would say it's on point.